Hello, uh, my name is Dennis Frommeyer and I've been doing carpenter work, home repair, home maintenance, home remodeling for 25 some years now. And I'm going to show you today how to put base trim down and how to cope a corner. Um, you can do a 45, a lot of people try to do that but they generally don't turn out very well. It's a whole lot easier and better looking final result if you do a, if you cope it. So let's get started, let me get my eyes on. And what we're going to do is we're going to measure there, get our first, it's just a straight cut, about 116 and a half inches. So we'll go out and cut our piece and then I'll be back in and I'll show you how to put it down. Okay, our first piece, uh, we just cut the ends off straight. And we just put it in there. There we go. Now, something you need to do before you even get started that I failed to do is you need to make sure where you got your nails a stud at so you can nail it. So let's do that real quick. Uh, let's look to see where nails are. Generally they'll put a nail at the bottom of the floor, a drywall nail, and that's generally where the stud's at. So that's what we're going to go by, but we need to mark the wall so we know where to nail. So let me do that real quick. Okay, what I'll do is I'll take a nail. You don't come up too hot. You want your trim to be able to hide the hole that you're going to put in the wall. But you can mark it. You can tell there's a stud there, so just take a pencil and lightly make a line. You can typically go by their nail holes. Uh, but like down here, there isn't a, a nail. So what you can do is, where there is one, take your tape measure and you can measure out 16 inches to generally, most of the time, it's 16 inch on center. And just make your little mark and then check it just to make sure it's in the other area. So we're going to just go up a little higher, make a little mark. Same with that one. There, all the way down through here. That one's got tape, so we know there's a joint there. And we lose it after that. But well, I'll be back with you in just a minute and we'll get the rest of it put down. Okay, let me show you this. I measured 16 inches and made me a mark because I couldn't find, I didn't see a screw there. So I put a nail in where it misses. So I went over a little bit and I found it. So you might want to try and find the edge. Just keep knocking until you find the edge. And there's the edge. So you know that mark there is the edge of the two by. So you can go above it or go over three quarters of an inch. Make your mark. Okay, we're ready to put that in now. So put our trim back up there. And we're ready to start nailing. Okay, sometimes, especially like with a hardwood floor, you don't have to worry about it with carpet, with a hardwood floor or tile to try to get the trim to go down tight against the floor. I mean, it's pretty tight, but uh, sometimes I'll get my wife to help me and get her to push down. And you might take another hammer and just kind of tap it on the top a little bit, not too much, so you don't dink the wood. And that kind of helps hold it down. Already pretty tight there. And, you know, she kind of pushes it in too. As far as putting little scratches on the walls, you're going to go back and caulk anyways. So you'll caulk and you're going to touch up the paint. So that's not a big deal. That little tap, you can believe how much tighter it makes it. Okay, so we got our first piece down. You don't really have to worry about nailing it in the corner because your next piece is going to hold it there. Okay, 
Now we're ready to cut the piece that we're going to coat. So we're going to measure, and there goes a hurry going by. I'm a retired fireman. Uh, but anyways, it's about 73 and 7 sixteenths. And we'll go outside and I'll show you how to, how to cut that piece. Okay, we've got our piece. What we're going to start out doing is cutting an angle. You're going to put a 45 degree angle on the right end. Um, you can go right to or left. I typically go right because I'm right handed. Just easier for me to cut it. So what we're going to do is we're going to line up our, our trim. Cut our 45 on it. And what we're going to do, can you zoom in on this? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to follow this profile with a uh, coping saw. So let me get the coping saw and make sure my wife can see me. And uh, we'll go from there. You see what I'm doing? Okay, so here we go. We're gonna, you got to be real kind of gentle on the first so that you don't cut that corner off. It's not a great big deal if you do. But you're just, you're going to go at a little bit of an angle, not much. And you're just going to take your coping saw and work it around. Cut that profile out. And then just cut that piece off. Then you're going to start over. break that piece off and you'll start the next piece and when you get to the end you want to be kind of careful so you don't bust it off and I'll go past the, where the end is and then cut it off you want to be careful that you don't break your little tip off here. And then we're going to measure 76 and 7 sixteenths, is that right? Okay, 73 and 7 sixteenths. So we're going to make our mark. Something, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, something I like to do is I'll put these boards on here to rest my trim on. It just makes it a little easier to handle. I'll make them the same height as here, which would be common sense. And we're going to cut that piece. Okay. And what I typically like to do, not everybody does this, but I like to knock my hairs off. I like to keep a sanding block available so I can knock the hairs off. Just turns out just turns out better. So now let's go put this piece on. Okay, now we're ready to put our piece in. And typically what I'll do, I know I've got this vent here, so I cut it just a tad bit short. because uh, I don't want that vent to be tight. But if you were going up against the wall, you'd want to put that end in first. And then you put this end in, the right end, and you push it in so that it's tight. You don't want it too tight, but it is nice to have it tight. It gives you a nice tight fit. So if you could zoom in, can you see how nice and tight that is there? And that's just mostly from being it cut. Because uh, it's really not tight in there because I've got that vent. I cut it a little short. But using a coping saw, you just about can't because the walls just aren't true 90 degrees 99% of the time. So if you use a coat, uh, it makes it look like a 45 but, and it comes out real nice. And that's, uh, that's about it. Uh, all you do is just go ahead and nail it and, and you're done with it.